Okay, ClearCom Technologies, we are now covering the installation of a SIM module. Uh, when you go to reinstall the SIM, uh, one thing to notice is that there is a timing mark. If you see this little crescent-shaped hole with a yellow marker in it, that is telling you where the timing of the clock spring is in the SIM. You want to make sure when you've pulled the old one out that you've marked it, and then you can in turn set the timing of the new SIM as you, before you put it in, and ours needs to be set right about there. Now, you're going to reinstall the stocks, and the stocks simply plug in. So, you take, snap in the one side, you then take and get it lined up here. I guess it helps to put it in the right way. Take and snap in the other side, and now the stocks are on. Now, you pull the bib back over to keep it out of your way. We're going to plug in the harness. You make sure that the maroon connector is out, and then as you slide the connector onto the sim, it stops. You push the maroon connector, and it seats your connector back on there. And then you simply slide the sim back into place. Make sure that your timing is set right. And snap it on. The sim is now mounted. Take your bib and stick it right into the hole, and those will snap into place. And now your bib's locked into place. Clearcom Technologies, we have now installed the sim module on the column. We're going to install the steering wheel and the airbag. Uh, one thing to notice on the steering wheel is in the center there is a spline right here, a key spline, and that lines up with a notch that's crimped on the column itself. That tells you that it's only going to go on one way. You take your steering wheel, you just wiggle it on until it lines up with that key spline. Now you can take your bolt, put your bolt on there, and tighten it down using your Torx T50 or your 18 millimeter Allen. And all right, the bolt is now tight. Now we're going to take the airbag. The airbag has three pieces. It has the main yellow connector for the airbag. It has the radio controls, and it has the ground. And I find that the radio is usually the hardest to put in last, so I plug it in first. I then take, plug on the ground onto the blade connector that's on here. And that's on. Then I take and I tip the airbag up so that I can plug in the yellow connector. The airbag is now connected. And it's easier to take, and when installing this, to snap the bottom of the airbag in place first. And then make sure that the sides, the rubber sides of the airbag, clear the radio controls. They usually hang up here, and so I have to work them back and forth. But now that they've cleared, I take and just snap the whole thing down. Make sure that it springs at all three corners. And it does, and we are done installing.